Hi all, welcome to the Salesforce Ultimate Guide channel. In this video, we are going to uh, continue with our trigger scenarios. So, Salesforce trigger interview question 25. If the account billing address is updated, then update related contacts mailing address. Okay, so in the last time we have you, uh, we have done this same trigger using map. In this uh, video, we are going to do it using parent child SOQ. Okay, so let us go and start it. File new affix trigger account trigger twenty five. This will be acting on the account. Okay, first I will deactivate any of my existing triggers. So this will, uh, this we have to make it work on after update because as soon as we update on the account now, we need to update the contact. And the very first thing we will check what is the context. So trigger dot is update and trigger dot is after. Then we will start with our for loop before we are iterating through all the account records. Then, so first we need to say check the condition if so the very thing is acc dot so for account we we have to fetch for all the account billing address and then for contact it's mailing address so first we will query the all the billing fields billing city billing street billing state country as well as postal code so these are the things these are the fields we need to take care so accounts billing city is not equal to we need to compare whether the billing city got changed or not so con billing city is not equal to the previous one so that is like trigger dot old map dot get off acc dot id dot billing city so in this one we will get all the old record map from that we are going and trying to fetch the like passing account ID we are getting that value and then uh, getting that record from that record and using the billing city field okay if this if this one either changed or acc dot billing street is not equal to Billing street, then cc dot billing state is not equal to billing state, and then cc dot billing street, then billing country is not equal to billing country dot link postal code is not equal to 
figure out world map of dot bit of this is billing postal code okay <clears throat> then uh, if any of these condition match and then as well as i'll just do a end with trigger dot word map is not good enough yeah if uh, if we check this much condition it's well and good okay so if any of these conditions match so if anything gets updated in the account then we need to go and update the contract okay uh, so for like for, to get to do that first we'll take a set of id sec ids equal to new set of id then within this we are going to add it add the acc which is the instance record so soon after this then uh, right now we got all the account ids so we have to just come out of the for loop so the for loop is getting ended right here okay the next thing is we have to write a sql query to fetch all the account as well as contracts so for that i'll take a for loop or on acc in here so first we query all the count <coughs> ID, billing city, billing street, billing state, billing country, billing postal code from account. And within this, where ID is in all these account IDs. But we need to get the contact details as well. So within this, I'm going to write a sub query select ID from contacts so, so wherever this uh, particular account is there it will fetch all the contacts as well from there and then it will we will get all those records soon after this we need to go and update the contact records to do that first we will check if um Contacts. acc dot contacts. contacts is not equal to null then only we will proceed then what we will do so we need to make the changes in contact okay so mm, then we will run the for loop acc dot contacts so it will just uh, give us the particular accounts for each of the contacts uh, for in each of the account so that time we are again iterating the contact records there we are going to store like contact dot for contact we have to go for mailing address so contacts you can query the thing contact contact dot obj ID uh, contact, mailing address okay so mailing city mailing street mailing state postal code country query from this one I am going to contact dot mailing first I will take this to see it mailing city is equal to ACC dot C 
सीसी.बिलिंग सिटी देन कांटेक्ट डॉट मेलिंग स्ट्रीट इज इक्वल टू एसीसी डॉट बिलिंग स्ट्रीट देन कांटेक्ट डॉट मेलिंग स्टेट इज इक्वल टू एसीसी सी डॉट बिलिंग स्टेट डॉट मेलिंग पोस्टल कोड इज इक्वल टू एसीसी डॉट बिलिंग पोस्टल कोड कॉन्टैक्ट डॉट मेलिंग कंट्री इज इक्वल टू एसीसी डॉट बिलिंग कंट्री So for each of the content, we have updated this thing. Finally, we will add it to one of the list. Okay. Then within this list, we need to add all these contacts. So I'm going to dot add it as a con okay soon after this we have to come outside of this for loop so where it is closing it's closing after this green bracket so we will check if contact list is not empty out of that is amp then i'll go for update the contact list mm -hmm. ACC dot ID. So right now our trigger is ready. Let us go and check in UI. Count six. <coughs> yeah. And this one no contacts. Yeah, there is a contact here within this we don't have mailing address with general bangalore and how about account account we are having yeah so from vijay i am going to change it to on the account okay then if we go to the contacts On the contact also we can see that mailing address got updated to Rajajnagar. So this is how it works. So I will just explain it once more. It's very easy. The very first thing we are starting with after update since we have to update on the contact. Once the account is updated, we will check the context. Then first we, we need to uh, iterate through the all account records and uh, if anything got changed like billing city billing street billing state country or postal code got changed then uh, all those records we need to add it to one of the accounts ids like that id we will collect all the account ids and store it in a set soon after that we will just run a parent child soq from this one we are fetching passing these account ids and fetching all those account and contacts as well so once we get all those so all the we can refer them by using account acc dot contacts so again we will iterate through all the contact records and from there we are copying uh, like accounts billing address into contacts mailing address then we are adding it to one of the list contact list so i have defined it here then finally if the list is not empty we are going to update the contact list so this is this was a good trigger and uh, it gives us so much learning 
so if you there are in uh, like i think you guys are uh, <coughs> liking my video uh, like uh, i think you are understanding the explanation if any improvement needed please comment it on the comment section uh like and share with your friends uh so then we'll stop it at here and we'll continue with the next scenario in next video thank you so much